working on the 2011 F-250. This applies to all 2011 through 2016 F-250, F-350, etc. Let's say you're installing a aftermarket radio like I am. Maybe it's a Chinese brand head unit that comes with a can adapter or something like this. Something like this doesn't output the correct retained accessory power. It doesn't have the delay when you open your doors. It's just something that bothers me. So we have to find a source of power that maintains that delay. So you know how your stereo stays on until you open the door. This is all controlled via computer with the factory stereo. It sends it over the CAN network, the communications protocol. So we need a good old fashioned analog 12 volt source. So there's nothing in the dash that will give you that. Unfortunately, even if you have upfitter switches or something, it's all just, as soon as you turn off the key, the power cuts off. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you where to get that power source. All right, over here on the passenger side, to excuse the mess, still a little dirty, reach up here, pull out the fuse panel cover. And then under here, there is a wiring harness that plugs in right up here. All right, a little bit of light helps. This is the harness right here. To release the harness, you have to, at the same time, push in on this and pull this tab up here. And it will release the whole thing. Okay. Now we've got it pulled out here. I've already done it, but I'll show you what to do here. You want to take a razor blade, cut back the loom that goes around the factory wire a little bit. And you're going to be looking for a teal or greenish colored wire with a violet slash purple stripe. What it looks like, get to focus. See right next to the red wire? It's a greenish wire with a purple stripe. That is your re a 12 volt retained accessory power wire. So what I did is I just spliced into it and ran this red wire off here. And then it runs up into here. And you can use this as a power source for nothing high current, but it's just a trigger in my case. And you can use it for any kind of accessory that you want to have your accessory power. So once you get that all spliced on there, I'll show you how to plug this back in. Stick the harness back in the way it came out. And then push this until it locks into place. And there you go. There is where you will find your delayed power source with your ignition for your 2011 to 2016 Super Duty truck. Hope this video helped you. Like and leave a comment, thanks.